Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Now, in the last hour in Rumor Report, we talked to you guys about Mariah Lopez Ebony. She did a Facebook uh, surviving Malik Yoba. She said that she had sex with him when she was just a teen. And she wants to let people know who applaud and salute Malik Yoba for revealing he is so-called trans attracted to understand that he has uh, deeper issues and other things going on with him. Well, he did respond to these allegations and he posted this freestyle. How quickly people love to spread news with no proof for child abuse. You confuse. I see you. You choose to try to make me lose, but I can't. If you try to stand in my shoes, you would lose. You can't win when you live in sin. When you got to begin where it begins again. In the beginning, I told you there was the word, and the word said we will love, and we will love each other. No matter what, you my sister, my brother, whether you be a trans man or a trans woman, man, I do not know. If you do not understand, yes, this is a freestyle. All right, that freestyle has since been deleted from his Instagram page, but just wanted you to hear his response that he did in the artistic way Okay, that he did it. All right, now let's talk about The Rock. We told you that he was going to be on Kelly Clarkson's show. He was on Monday's episode of The Kelly Clarkson Show, the debut premiere episode of her show, and he talked about a lot of things, including his wedding. So we had the best wedding. We got married um, in Kauai. Um, it's hard to keep something like that under wraps, but mm-hmm. it was so private, and there was maybe 10 people with our babies, and it was just the best wedding. That's nice, a, a cool private wedding. He also talked about Kevin Hart because, of course, you know that's his good friend and also his son. He's, Everything he's is covering. good. I spoke with Kevin. I actually referred to him as my son. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I connected with him today. And you know what? These things happen in life. And yeah. thankfully, he uh, right? was strapped in nicely to his car seat. So I think that <laughs> everything... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I love you. <laughs> oh, no. That's I, like, I'm just that's saying. real love. That's real love, love. guys. That's love. Um, listen, I'm only kidding. Yeah. We spoke to the pediatrician, and he said... <laughs> All right, so that's good. And I assume because he's joking around about it, Kevin Hart must be in good spirits right now as well. Okay. All right, now Antonio Brown has been accused of rape in a lawsuit now. He's from the New England Patriots now. And he's the most prominent wide receiver in the NFL. Now he's being accused of raping a woman who worked as his trainer, according to this federal lawsuit that was filed on Tuesday. A woman named Brittany Taylor, uh, who was working with him as his trainer, he hired her as his trainer, is now saying that she... She was sexually assaulted twice during training sessions in June of 2017. She says he exposed himself and kissed her without permission and also masturbated behind her and then ejaculated on her back. She did end her working relationship with him, but then ended up coming back to work with him after he apologized and said that there would be no more sexual advances. Now, Antonio Brown's statement, he is... Uh, vehemently denying these charges. They said that he denies each and every allegation in the lawsuit. He will pursue all legal remedies to not only clear his name, but to also protect other professional athletes against false accusations. So we will keep you updated on what's happening. Uh, The New England Patriots said they are aware of the civil lawsuit and they take the allegations very seriously and will have no further comment until the investigation takes place. Yeah, that's just what it is. It's an Mm -hmm. accusation and an allegation. You know, I think that he should still be able to uh, play on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and he is still playing, right? Yeah, he is. I believe so. He should be playing. I mean, it's a civil suit. All but- right. And uh, just to end things off, I have good news for you. We are giving you a chance to win one of 10 trips to New York City for Powerhouse NYC. That's right. We're giving you round trip airfare for two people, two nights, hotel accommodations, sweet tickets, and you get to meet the Breakfast Club. It's going down at the Prudential Center. That goes down October 26th. That features Amigos, Meek Mill, Lil Baby, A Boogie, The Baby, David O, Meg Thee Stallion, Saweetie, Polo G, Polo G, Little TJ, and a lot more to be announced. It's all presented by our friends at at and I'm Angela Yee, and that's your Rumor Report. All right. Thank you, Ms. Yee. Revolt. We'll see you guys later. Everybody else, the People's Choice Mix is up next. Let's go. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.